In this video, I'm gonna have a chat to you why business coaching is not for everybody. Now, unless you've been uh, hiding under a rock somewhere or you haven't been in touch with what's going on out there in the business community, you would have learned that business coaching is fast growing, it's a very popular thing to do. And business coaching is one of those things that you're either ready for or you're not. And I have a lot of people talk to me about uh, business coaching and wonder, um, you know, what will they get out of being coached by a business coach and how it actually works. Well, I'm here to say that business coaching is not for everybody. Now, why would I say that? Why wouldn't you think I'd go, well, business coaching is for everyone. You know, really, do I want every single business owner in Australia to have a business coach? Yes. Do I think it would be a good idea for every business coach, sorry, for every business owner in Australia to have a business coach? The answer is yes, I think it would. No different if a business owner has a, an accountant or a lawyer or, you know, a, a business should have a business coach. Now, having said that, I'm a firm believer that business coaching doesn't suit everybody. Now that doesn't mean that business coaching isn't good. What it means is that for some of you, you're just not ready to be pushed. You're not ready to be coached. You might verbalize and say, hey, I'd love some help to grow my business. Well, when it comes, when pinch comes to pinch, push comes to push, and a coach starts working with you, you crumble. And that's because you're just not ready. And that's okay. If you're not ready right now, that's okay. But understand that. Look at yourself and go, well, why isn't it that I'm not prepared to do whatever it takes? Why is it that I'm uncomfortable being challenged or pushed or stretched out of my comfort zone? What is it about me that I need to change to be more coachable, more adaptable and ready to change? Because really that's what it's about. So if you're asking yourself, are you ready for business coaching? Here's a few things you could probably, you know, a few questions you could ask yourself and take this little test. Number one, are you open to new ideas? If you didn't answer yes to that, forget it. You've got to be open to new ideas. If you're going to do the same old thing you've always done and expect to get a different result, well then, you know, that's the definition of insanity. So are you open for new ideas? If the answer is yes, great. Let's get on to the next question. Are you willing to try things that are outside of the norm? Because, you know, business coaching is going to push your thinking. They're going to stretch your comfort zone. So are you ready to try some things that are going to make you uncomfortable? If the answer is yes, good news, you're coachable. If the answer is no, you don't want to be made uncomfortable, then coaching is probably not for you. It's that simple. Are you ready to invest some additional time in working on yourself? If you answered no to that, well then don't do coaching. You're going to have to improve your knowledge if you're going to earn more money. It's a, you know, it, it, you know, for me, the word earn, I want you to put an L in front of that, which is like a big L plate. You need to learn more before you can earn more. And if you're not willing to do extra uh, learning and, and I mean in addition to working with a business coach that means going to other workshops going you know reading books downloading audios and listening to other speakers and, and you know, mixing and networking with different people if you're not willing to do that well then you're probably not coachable um, are you willing to experience massive growth in your business you know a business coach doesn't want to work with you just for a little tiny changes they want to help you make the changes to achieve your goals uh, if you're not willing to make these these changes, if you're not willing to have a growth, whether it's in money or so, it doesn't, I'm talking about growth, it could be a personal growth, mentally, it could be you know, reducing the amount of hours you work in the business. If you're not ready to make those personal changes, then you're probably not going to be coachable. Um, so, you know, as you can see, there's several questions you need to ask to see whether or not you're actually coachable. Is business coaching for everyone? No. It's not for everybody. We're not here to, to push business coaching on you. In fact, what we do is we want to meet with you and you've got to prove to us that you're coachable. You've got to prove to us that you've got a business that can sustain coaching, that's got the legs to be able to grow, to be able to do what needs to be done for coaching. We don't want to coach people that don't want to be coached. That would just be insane. That would be crazy. So hopefully I've helped you answer the question, is business coaching for everyone? I suppose the question I'm asking is business coaching for you? And if you think it is, uh, then why not you know, put us to the test. What I'm offering is a complimentary business assessment for anybody who's got a business. Now, not every, not not everybody qualifies, by the way, for a free business assessment. But you can check it out. Go to my website, actioncoachanz.com. You'll find a link on the uh, on the front page there somewhere that will invite you to uh, to have a complimentary business assessment. One of my team will contact you and see if you qualify. And if you qualify, great. Well, we'll meet with you, and by the end of that meeting, you'll know whether or not business coaching is for you.